busy, busy, busy. These places are always busy. Busy with people. I'm being told we've entered Hazro, which is one of the pinnacle towns in the uh, in, in the area of uh, of Chaj and of uh, Atat. So I've been stopped by a total random guy and he speaks a few words of English and he says to me that could you please uh, help me. It's a regular thing in, 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 in Pakistan. So it's a, it's a regular discussion are, the, are these things here. So I uh, pointed him out to some uh, uh, websites where he can uh, perhaps look to gain some uh, 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 help. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, help him. Each and every person wishes that their reach could be a little bit longer and it's absolutely fine to do that and to help people. So we're currently in, in, in Hazro and she's kind of busy here. Uh, it's a bit more, more Muslim. The streets narrow, it's then. So if I just show you, look. It just gets busier and busier. Oh, the good old open drains. And if I recognize this place correctly. Okay. So if I recognize the place correctly, I think we've arrived where we need to go in. Busier and busier and busier. And we are at the uh, SDPO office, which is also known as the police station. So I'm going to switch this off now. I've just been chatting to uh, some of them off, off camera. And the guys seem to be all from one area. Uh, which is uh, District Sawabi. Uh, they're here for the majority of the week, earn a few quid, and then disappear back home for a day, and then come back again. So they're constantly uh, migrating, and they're doing this because of the conditions. They're just seeking employment, attempting to feed their families and keep a roof over their head. I mean, looking at the conditions that they're, that they're in, you know, just wear, wearing slippers. Uh, protective gear is, is fairly low so their mindset is of like I suppose to a level it's just a survival really right okay just acting how, how it is and the environment just allows them just to uh, be like that what me and you are used to is we need safety equipment and you know every, everything has to be right okay everything has to be <laughs> somebody shouting or it's just going across you know it sounded like vlogger. Hopefully, it didn't sound worse than that. <laughs> okay, you know, I mean, we, we get, uh, and rightly so as well, right? Okay, you know, safety is paramount because your health comes before, uh, before everything. But here, it's just like, just get on with the job. Don't ask too many questions. If a brick falls on my foot, it just falls on. I just wrap some cloth around it, and uh, off I go again. And their attitude is just like, just hard work, right? Just get on with it. So many stories in, in, in Pakistan about somebody becoming ill and not being able to afford treatment, and they're uh, selling their assets, they're selling their ha you know, selling their their lands, occasionally their house as well, just to be just to be treated and everything's gone in a, in, a, in a day. So having this attitude of just being grateful, just being grateful to God for all the things that uh, He has given us, the infinite bounties, the infinite gifts. Uh, that we have particularly for those of us that uh, live abroad and live reasonably comfortable lives. I mean, could you just imagine? <laughs> the blast is on. Could you just imagine? For the Second World War in 1945 when people migrated from these, from these areas, what the conditions must have been like at, at that time. It was still uh, one country, it was still India, the partition had not uh, yeah, roughly 1945, so the partition of uh, uh, India and Pakistan wasn't in, in place and many, many young men initially left these lands to make, to make the conditions better for their own families and their attitude was, was we will go to the UK there was uh, agents and companies recruiting the majority of, uh, of young men to go and rebuild 
uh, the United Kingdom and many other countries in Europe for, for, for that matter as well. And initially it was for survival really, just to improve the conditions of their own families for them to be able to eat, for them to be able to, to have clothes, for them to have uh, different homes, to be educated and generally increasing their, their standard of, of living. And now, what is it, 60, 70, 80 years later, whatever it happens to be, the second generations like me, who live in the UK, born in the UK, and the third generations, you know, lots of parents complain that the children have just got it too easy, and they just want everything quickly. And the, the, the values that those people had of honesty, dedication, hard work, and these things have disappeared, which isn't always true, but you get the gist, you know exactly what we mean. As I hit a sign, the government of the Punjab Housing, Urban Development and Public Health Engineering Department, we have a project going on for housing and town planning. And as you look on the left, and you look on the right, and as you see a little bit of grazing going on, I will let you make your own mind up <laughs> about what is going on. So look, as I was saying, you know, sometimes these things happen, but unity, family relationships, spirituality, being together, working time hard together, having a unified system, everyone looking out for, for each other. Our core values. Okay, and when we stick to these core values and we make an effort for these values and we give sacrifices for these values then generally our lives will get better because if you think well and you feel well and you make sacrifices for your spirituality and for your thinking and you generally look to be honest and have great values in your life the things that most people are complaining about <laughs> things like stresses and overwhelm and overload and illnesses, okay, they will slowly just disappear. So, may God protect us and God keep us on the right. <laughs> and it's getting noisier and noisier. So one of the reasons this place is the municipal <laughs> capital, makes me laugh, sorry, municipal capital. It's like the, uh, a regional hub of activity, I think that's a better way to uh, describe it, is because there's so many things going on more popular things in today's world is mobile technology so as you can see all shops and it looks like it's probably sponsored by these guys however the units underneath um, are the main retail outlets so let's go and have a look inside and see what's going on oh suddenly lost which is quite all right or maybe you need to go this way let's have a look at what's going on here Loads of retail units. Oh my God. There's more shops in here than there are a set of matches in a matchbox. Where have they gone? They have disappeared. They have definitely disappeared and I'm getting lots of people doing lots of emergency brakes on me as well. At the same time, look, oh, well, a bit narrow, narrow little road. Look, loads of work going on. Lots of mysterious little little streets and little angles. Let's have a look. Look, amongst the telephones, they're selling spices as well. And the noise is getting louder and louder. Mobile shops and more mobile shops. Shazad! And if you want to... Uh... Let's see what's happening around here. Oh, there's a lot happening over here. In a much uh, brighter shop. So, oh, we've got broken phones and broken phones. So, in the United Kingdom, they're going the bin, I believe. Um, in Pakistan, they fix them and they fix them and resell them. Well, that was truly amazing, mashallah. Yeah? Okay, let's go the other way. Attempt to be safe in the middle of the road as well. Look, here we have fruit, bananas, apples. Salam alaikum, bye. Salam alaikum, salam alaikum. Kya naam hai, brother? Haris Mahmood. Haris Mahmood in Hazro, mashallah. Yeah? <laughs> well, let's stop off of some fruit and bananas. Oh, wow. 
Look at this. Do you know what this is? Work it out. And we have some. A brew does it in by this time, right? Guava. We have some melons, some anar pomegranates, and loads of bananas. And it looks like some bargaining is going on. You must always bargain. When you're in Pakistan, bargain. Nighttime has room. <laughs> fruit, fruit, and more fruit. Oranges. We have some oranges going on. And we have some. Sidi beta epalli sedi. On in Bwandi, lemons. So look, we have some lemons. There we go. Safe run across the road. Here we go. Whoa. Oh yeah, now remind me. Babu's reminding me this place is called Fawara Chok. Thank you, Babu. <laughs> Fawara Chok. It's definitely Hasro. But it's a Fawara Chok as well, yeah. And we have somebody here making making <laughs> some fruit. They're all waving, mashallah. Let me go over. So we have Shuheb, the Shuheb Burger Center here. Mashallah, look. Kya bana rahe bhai? Burger sir, omelet wala. Omelet wala burger. Or iska kima? It's hundred rupees. Hundred. Hundred. So look. Ladies and gents, 50 pence for a burger. Okay, I've got to buy a burger. Is that burger free? Huh? There we go, here it comes. We've got to try a burger now, I've asked him. So I've asked by Shoeb. Shoeb name, isn't it? Yes. Nene Shoeb name, So he's going to make one for me. Just get a little bit of protein in. I won't count the calories. Here we go, look, quick mix. Boom. Do you want to do it? Put another egg in as well. At least I'll be able to taste the egg. So this is Shuaib's little uh, factory. Why is Subha come here? Just time to Subha. Yeah, Gigi. Second time, lad, sir. G? Second time. Second time. So second time, Bara baje ki baad. Four baje. Four baje. Oh, after four o'clock. No. So after four o'clock. Or kab tak yahan hote hain? Nine. Till nine o'clock. Masha. See, he speaks English as well. Nine p.m. Mashallah, yeah. Looks nice that. There we go. One piece. Two pieces. Give it a whack. Oh, the second egg's going in too. Oh. A little bit of masala. There you go, brother's washing his hands, look, at the local pump. Well, he's making the omelette, let's have a look at this. Oh, look, water's blowing out there. And look, they have the local bamba in Fawara shop. Right, so what do you do is, for those of you who do not know, Simply look, it goes up and down <laughs> like a little lever. Water appears at the bottom, and everyone's served by water. Look, little hand water pump, isn't that amazing? Well, there we go. Dinner for the evening. There you go, it's all made and it's all wrapped up. So remember, guys, if you want one of these, come and see Shuaib, right? He's in Fawara Chok in the middle of Hazro. On the back of a rickshaw, I don't normally do this. Let's taste this. Bismillah, ya Allah, Bismillah. Bismillah, Bismillah. So it looks like no, no. See so the the egg has slipped out. What is it with bread and salad? Alhamdulillah, it's still nice. So I've slipped the egg back in. I'm doing that, that's nice. Simple omelette with a little bit of masala. Beautiful. Even Shurebu was making the um, omelette sandwich for me. He wouldn't take any money. But, um, wouldn't take it, he says you're my guests. But I possibly gave it to him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in his, in his life. It is now night time. We're still energetic, people still around, leaving work at five, half past five. It looks like Hasro is just making up. Aapka naam bhai? Bhai Usman, Bhai Usman, where are you going? Bada Gaon. Yes? Bada Gaon. Bada, it's going to Bada. 
اللہ پاک آسانی کرے سفر آسان کرے السلام علیکم یگ مان آپ کا نام برادر شیر خان ماشاء اللہ کہاں جا رہے ہیں کالو ماشاء اللہ One of the most wonderful things in Pakistan, I'm just walking down the street in the darkness and a young man appears and he says, Uncle, 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 complete stranger to me, says. He says to me, look at this. <laughs> a bunch of fresh spinach directly from the field I can't wait <laughs> honestly this is so healthy and it smells and it smells absolutely gorgeous I cannot wait to taste that <laughs> 